I'm Jack. And today I am continuing to read The Lost Girls, inspired by or based on The Lost Boys, uh, a film produced and released in 1987. It is. Thanks, Lightning, for getting in the way. Written by Scroll. This scroll here. Um, now he has not joined me today. He's having a bit of a busy life. That's his business. That's that. Uh, but I have decided to continue reading his story. I may stop from time to time. This is not among the longer chapters. I may stop from time to time with uh, some manner or other commentary. I haven't decided yet how that's going to work, but I figured this should be done as something of a review process as well. Anyway, I crumpled the letter I just received and crushed it between my hoof and, for and my forehead. Oh, I love what's eating ya? Rolling Thunder. The Rolling Thunder, the purple Pegasus Stallion. Ah. Uh. Hold on a second. I feel bad, but I have to do this. Just because that doesn't ring true to my ears when I say it out loud. That's if there's even... Oh, uh, there we are. Okay, Rolling Thunder was not a stallion. <laughs> See, a mare. Alright, I, I, it's, it's not a, a big deal, I guess, but it is erroneous to declare this character a stallion. I don't even believe the character sounded like a stallion in the run of the show. Uh, she was a tall washout with uh, something of an Australian sounding accent. Oh, I love what's eating you. Rolling Thunder, the purple Pegasus Stallion, I mean mare, with mane and tail, like a coiled cloud, asked me as he, she, kicked up a wooden and iron ring reinforced bucket that was right beside me. When the bucket landed upside down, he, he uh, she plopped on it like a very short stool next to me. I could actually hear the wooden bucket creak slightly due to the sudden strain on it for just a second. I mean, that's a tall... Uh, mare, but she's rather thin. And being a Pegasus, I, I, I imagine her profile is a bit lighter than her, her appearance necessarily suggests. Just saying. I love this guy, who you don't seem to be aware is not a guy. And normally I'd love his company, Compony, too. But after the news I just received, having company was the last thing I wanted. I really hated being weak in front of others. Let me show you what I've got. Nothing, I told her. I keep, I keep, I see the pronouns on the screen, but for the moment I'm going to read it in accordance with the actual research. So, nothing, I told her with a warning growl. Or, okay, nothing, I told her with a warning growl. I, as I said that, I kept my eyes firmly closed. I thought I could even feel a tear uh, trailing down my cheek. Aye, nonsense. Thunder rejected. Annie Piney. In there right. Boing. Holy crap. I, don't, you... I, I see what you're attempting to do. Uh, because of the accent, you're attempting to get it sound like moind. Uh, and I, I kind of. I, I feel like you mutilated the word here, but I, I see what you're trying to do. I get that you're trying to write the accent. Uh, I think up here, and the fact that the Rolling Thunder is, is kind of a known character, even if only having been in one episode, you can also establish somewhere up here that this purple Pegasus mare has a pronounced like an Australian sounding accent. You might come up with the pony pun nationality to explain it, but 
you know, if something makes you sound like it's Australian, then you, you probably don't have to do things like this. Uh, I can tell something's eating you up. Eating at you, love. And I, you know, I ain't even a bony normally on the, in his right mind. Uh, I mean, in our right mind. I can tell you that much for certain, love. Hey, he laughed at his own comment. I mean, she laughed at her own comment. For me, it's getting confusing. Anybody else can simply choose to accept that Rolling Thunder is a stallion, but Rolling Thunder is not is not identified as a stallion. Does that look like a stallion to you, Lightning? Um, as I uh, as I crack my left eye open at her, I couldn't help but crack a small grin at her too. It was not just because of what he said, but the way he said it. Rolling Thunder was one of those few ponies who was actually proud of how insane she was. For in her eyes, that also meant having fewer restraints. Yeah, she had very few restraints. Um, or, uh, or was there anybody that could possibly be conceivably willing to ensure her, her life or, or any of that? Because she was just far too great of a risk to do that with. That's the spirit, love, she said with a quiet grin as she gave me a gentle nudge with her right wing. Notably, a wing he, she shouldn't be moving around too much after her last accident. Frankly, I have lost count. I think the word of belongs right here. Um, I have lost count how many times she's been bent because of an injury to either her wing, hooves, or both. But she wouldn't have it any other way. Quality over quantity was her philosophy in life. If you're going to live short, then at least live it well. If quality over quantity is her philosophy, then the fact that she will not take a break and wants to do it as often as possible contradicts that. However, one of the reasons I was elected the official leader of the washouts, oh my god, wasn't just because it was my initial idea. The other reason was I really am the best in the team and they knew it. I pushed myself just as hard as these numbskulls, but there should be a B right after M, as in numb, like without sensation, without feeling, numb skulls. But unlike them, I didn't get injured nearly as often. I'm just too good to make as many mistakes. Just then, I realized that the news I had for them would break their hearts just as much as it was breaking mine. But I had to be honest with them. I owed them that much. I'm, uh, I'm leaving the washouts, I announced painfully. Predictably enough, that news start startled Rolling Thunder. Blimey! What's this on about, eh? What's this on about, eh? I, okay. Oh, I never seen you quit anything a day in your life. She gave a neutral shrug as she added, getting kicked out. Yes, but I never seen you quit something on your own volition before. So what's it, the deal here, mate? Let me, uh... I gotta copy this um, over here. I'm. It's. I'm gonna open up Word. I'm trying so damn hard to figure out what exactly is going on here. There are. are it's. Uh, an admitted weak spot. Dialogue isn't everybody's cup of tea. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it, it is relatively few people's cup of tea. Anyway, I'm gonna zoom in a little here. about what you want about you can just say what you want about eh I've never seen you quit anything a day in the life he, uh, I'm going to leave the pronouns on now but I'm going to say them the way that three search suggests they should be saying she gave a neutral shrug as she added, as she added getting kicked out yeah but I ain't never seen you quit something on your own volition before so what's the deal here mate Beyond that, I could pretty much just chalk it up to quirks of the character, but uh, I felt like this right here was a little confusing. It left me, well, not completely scratching my head. I kind of had an idea of what was the intended thing here, and I'd say that, that trying to write in funky accents is very challenging at times, particularly when you're just an awfully well and clear spoken American English speaker. Um, then the intricacies of other dialects of English, particularly those in other countries, can be a little mystifying, and especially when you're trying to type them out. 
I don't need you over here. I shivered a little as I continued to cry. Because, you know, lightning does cries. Blimey, don't give me that. Oh, that's that should be G I M M E, right? Don't give me that. Just out with it, love. Yule, Yule, Yule. Okay, so it should be Yule, just because even with the accident, it'd be you'll feel right better if you do. I'm not sure you need to put it over here. What I'm saying is, at this point, you will, have, or, or by the early part of this chapter, if you've established the accident well enough, you don't need to go too crazy writing it out. And I know that I often write apple blooms or apple jacks, depending. Uh, accent a little more exaggerated, but it does help me to do that and to keep their particular type of syntax a little more well true. Y'all feel right better if you do. Thunder promise, uh, thunder promise to she wrapped a wing, wrapped a wing around me again. It was his injured wing, but when had he ever let physical injury stop him from doing what he wanted to do? Believe me, I don't want to. Uh, no, I, I don't need the accent. Believe me, I don't want to go. I assured her before shaking my head, but I can't ignore this. Not this time. Something had changed in her attitude. I could feel it. She grew more stiff than before because she finally noticed that she couldn't pull me out of this. This is one of those really serious life deal kind of things. Why? What is it? She eventually asked, but she broke the moment of silence. And show the old thunder a bit of an, of an explanation. I do, however, like what we're establishing here. Beyond the the more shallow presentation of the group in, in the, the show's run, there is an actual connection between them all that's legitimately there in the behind the scenes, where they actually care. There's 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 that connection. Um, you know, in the show, you could argue that they just kind of happen to have a. They all share a similar goal, and that's great. What I like about this is it does more. To, to demonstrate a connection, to demonstrate that that's it's not just um, a common goal that unites them in what they do. But there's there's an actual friendship that they have found in their in their shortcomings, whether they admit to those shortcomings or not. Uh, once again, I cracked a grin and my eyes opened at him. After two seconds, I nodded a bit. Uh, I suppose I do. To that end, I hoped I hoped her the crumpled letter. But read this first. Alright, let's see what you got there, mate. She accepted the letter with a hoof, opening it, and then proceeded to read it. As she did so, my heart sank, since I knew how much this was going to hurt her. I knew she was not very good at reading, so it took her a little longer. Longer still, in fact, because she actually reread it a couple of times. So, so what? Uh, younger sister got it. He figured as he looked back at me. Or, I mean, she figured as she looked back at me back at me. I nodded a bit as I said, and there is no pony else that could take care of her anymore. Our parents died quite a while back. Well, I kind of feel like we're fudging a little bit with Cannon. Everything about her personality suggests she was an entirely lone wolf type. She refused to teamwork. She refused an alliance of any kind. All except for the washouts, where that was an actual group she was legitimately and honestly a part of, but it, it, they didn't they weren't exactly trying to work or establish a cohesive unit within themselves. They just were reckless together, you know? But, well, the fact that we're establishing that there's a closeness with them where they actually have a serious enough, serious enough relationship to have a conversation suggests that, yeah, there, there's room to add something that actually makes... gives Lightning Dust more depth. Um, what two episodes we really saw her in in the show there was not much left to make her endearing she was not one of the um, antagonistic characters that ever got to come back with a redemption arc so she was she had the makings of um, a rainbow dash foiling Trixie but instead um, she just I mean she was an antagonist to rainbow dash and in the second one a danger to Scootaloo's life but had no redemption arc. So it's 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 nice to see her have more endearing characteristics. This is refreshing. I, I don't know if I feel as though the dialogue is too much in her particular voice. She tends to be a little more brash 
uh, forceful. I don't feel like she'd be that. They, they, there would be that much contrition. She's just like, I'm leaving. You're gonna have to deal with it. Not, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. It's still like, I, I, okay. So instead, we're seeing like a more a, a more tender side. That that's a good thing. Uh, can't leave you though. She went on to say a bit more softly. This is your family too. Agreed, but she needs me more. I countered seriously. Wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I skipped a few lines. Uh, he, she grinned at me as she asked, Is that why such a wildly firecracker? Okay, I'm not, again, I'm not sure you need to, to write the words into the tone or the nature of the accent you're trying to affect any if if you you know what I mean like you if the mannerisms are there like oil love and all that is at least there in the part of the speech then I readily myself assume that it is to be read in a an Australian maybe Cockney accent but I, I because personally because I know the character from the show I also know that the accent is closer to an Australian like uh, that of Scootaloo's own parents anyway after exploded from me suddenly if I had been drinking anything at that moment, it sh it surely would have been sprayed from my muzzle. I can't leave here, love. She went on to save it more softly. He saves your family too. I agreed, but she needs me more, I counted seriously. She sighed as she looked at the letter again, then looked at me as she asked, It's really that bad, love. I released a long breath as I sat up straight and put my head against the side of the tent behind us while I looked up. Specifically, I looked straight up to the sky. There are many reasons why I love flying so much. I, by the way, I don't know that I'm getting that tone right yet. Although, okay, apparently wistfully is, is there. I don't know that I'm affecting wistfully the way I think I am, but at least there it is. So, there are, there are many reasons why I love flying so much. I announced to her wistfully. Part of it is me, but another part is my sister. She got two pair of wings, uh, oh, she got two pair of wings and all back just as much, right, love? Rolling Thunder checked. Uh, could be asked, could be any number of things. Um, okay, so I shrugged as I answered, yes, she does, for all the good it does her. Even out of the corner of my eye, I saw Rolling Thunder tilt his, her head questioningly, hoping for more elaboration, elaboration on that point. While I did consider this news very personal and sensitive, it was also true that I felt like I owed him, her. So, despite how painful it was for me to admit this, I went on. It's interesting, because just by having her check, Rolling Thunder, I mean, check here, it felt more like Rolling Thunder was about to uh, go in to make a point. It, it, it just, you know what I mean? Like, if you were writing a, 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 a courtroom drama, law thriller, some kind of a thing, that check would be the entering meaning point from the point of the question, there's the check, they get the answer that tells them they can go on ahead with the trap that they uh, might have just set and spring it, but it's not going like that here. Uh, my, my sister is, I mean, was born with kind of a crooked spine, I told him, told her with a frown. It is bad enough to keep her from using her wings properly. Uh, okay, that sucks. I turned my head to look at him, her as I added, well, for flying, at least. She can use the limbs for other basic stuff like grasping things, but clearly not as easily as other Pegasi. None of whom, during this story so far, have used their wings in any such way. Oh, it actually pained me to see some light dim in Old Thunder's eyes. The depression sunk into her due to how serious this news was. Uh, sweet Charity. Oh, my goodness. I, I love the name. Super saccharine. <laughs> and it serves pretty well to establish that the character is not really anything like lightning dust, per se. And so what they have in common is common blood ancestry. Uh, sweet Charity has never known what it is like to fly, I told her gravely. One of the very things that matters to me the most in my life is a pleasure that she could never share. My eyes started to mist as I continued. What makes it feel worse is she loved me for it. She loved to watch me fly. She loved how much it made me happy. But little did she realize how guilty I felt at the same time. 
She stared at me like a fan, my first true admirer. Not something she ever expressed much... And I'm not saying she's expressing interest in it here. She's not. That's not what she's saying at all. But uh, I'm saying in the show, admirers wasn't something she expressed that much interest in. She just really likes pushing herself. And it does not make any difference to her just how dangerous that becomes. Rolling Thunder looked down, along with a nod, before she said, I can somewhat relate. I have five brothers and sisters. Uh, I was the second oldest. I had to take care of them. I rightly sure did. Well, uh, he told my my flying skills from afar. Hey, none of them had any some kind of injury to keep them out of the air. Neither did the sister. And it was clear they couldn't keep up with me neither. She looked, she looked back at me, so I am totally alone in the sky unless. Okay, so I ain't totally alone in the sky unless I push myself to, to my best. Then I was alone. There is such a, a confusion of tenses. I mean, just the thing is, you went. This is this here was present. Oh my god! This part was present tense. Then it was a period, which granted separates the two sentences into what is a past tense. Um. And you were right, that is very much a somewhat relate, since it doesn't really parallel Lightning's experience as expressed or explained. I nodded with a frown as I said, lonely at the top sometimes, isn't it? She nodded and said, aye, till I found you in good old fuse. Till I found you in good old fuse. I suppose some punctuation could use to kind of separate these two individuals, um, Lightning Dust and you know, short views, or whatever. Ah, uh, I saw it before, I so said, well, you read the letter. Charity's spine has gotten worse. Now she can't even trot anymore. She's stuck in a wheelchair. Ouch. Damn. He looked down and dropped his shoulders as he said, aye. Oh, I'm sorry, she looked down and dropped her shoulders as she said, aye. Then she looked back at me with sad acceptance as he hooped me, let her, she hooped me the letter back and said, Family is family. Go to her. I'll explain your situation of views. Oh, I can only imagine how colourful that would be. I tilted my head to my left and eyed him off the... I'm sorry. And eyed her off the top of the left side of my head as I warned her. It's too real, you know. Can't be worse than what y'all feel. It can't be worse than what you're feeling. When you're you feeling. She replied. She nudged me with her right wing again. Go to, you, go to her. I'll rightly hold down a foot if and when you get back, mate. I feel like she should be more confident about the when part of that, but eh. Just as an encouragement, you know. Uh, although I guess that wouldn't make a lot of sense for Rolling Thunder. She didn't seem all that invested in encouraging anybody. I, I sighed again as I completely leaned over and rested my head on her right shoulder, which was a level of vulnerability I normally never show any pony. I trusted her that much. Thanks, Thunder. I told her with the glow of gratitude in my voice. You're the best. She hugged me from the side as she said, ain't that rightly the truth. Okay. Um, okay, so, I, that was chapter two. Again, not one of the longest, which is fine. Uh, it doesn't... It was more of retiring, resigning from the washouts than washing out of the washouts. But I, I understand why the, the specific... Uh, the particular title was chosen and the way in which it's a play on words uh, I, I, it's good like the story in general is quite good I am getting into the idea of actually liking Lightning Dust as a character there's been certain endearing qualities and certain not so endearing qualities like her getting violent over chocolate milk uh, it's not uh, it's hinted that it probably has some stronger, almost alcoholic properties, you know. Uh, so I was a little put off by this. Great. We are just not going to load anything. There we go. Because this character here is... is uh, I'm showing you Mare, Pegasus, 
these are your colorations so you got your coat color your main color your I think that's supposed to be eye color it could be that there are two parts of the main color no it's the eye color okay and what did these numbers indicate all right so appears in the washhouse as a member of the titular stunt team shares her body type with penny lane um season four episode 11 unnamed earth mare how can you be sure that is an earth mare season four episode 12 unnamed unicorn mare boxy trot uh ice mirror viola buzzsaw mccult uh hacksaw mccult cross cut mccult slap shot Season 6, Episode 20, Unnamed Pegasus Bear Number 4. Season 6, Episode 21, Unnamed Earth Bear Number 0. It's a sort of similar body type. Certainly a long, thin leg, yeah. Oh, for... <sighs> okay, thank you, Lady Dust. Uh, she said, you snooze, you lose. Let's see, we got Twirly Whirly. Season... Son of a gun. Season 7, Episode 14, Unnamed Pegasus Bear Number 1. I feel like she shared her body type with Scootaloo's mother. Um... Main all good as well. I mean, yeah, a similar body type there too. So, so yeah, there's Rolling Thunder here. I I just okay. Open. I mean, this one's a simple bit of research. It it just puzzles me. And then she's got cool scars under one eye. Yeah. She, yeah, it is like a pop of cloud kind of in her uh, her mane and tail appearance. And yes, she does seem to be injury prone. And I imagine the reason for the bucket she's sitting on is because that happened to be what she was sitting on. So it seems like a pre preference of hers, right? So that makes sense. What I, I'm not making sense of is calling her a stallion and the somewhat exaggerated accent that has been used to uh, illustrate her speech style. So it's just... Um, I guess I'm just saying I have a few... I'm going to call them minor complaints because clearly it didn't stop me from reading it. I very much continued. I was still very much into reading it. I was still very much enjoying it. it um, just to be a nitpicky, I, I maybe you could say, but yeah, there it is. So that's that chat.